What is up people, it's your boy Reese Spoken, and today is a little bit different, I ain't giving any gameplays, I'm not doing no flashback Fridays, what I'm pretty much doing is I'm going to do what I used to do, where I talk about stuff that just makes me curious. So uh, some of you may have heard, that, oh sorry, watched this video, uh, technically about a year ago, because when I first started my channel, um, I did a review on a thing called the Oya, which is meant to be like an open source modifiable games console which was meant to be coming out so uh, to lead on from the story I went onto games website thought I'd have a look see if they've got any of the, like the new releases and stuff and um, two links at the bottom had the Oya so I was like oh, okay I can go and have a look see what's saying that it's coming out soon but there was also another one called the game stick which made me kind of curious on the fact that a lot of people now are releasing mobile really mobile like games consoles for your TV instead of this big clunky Xbox PS3 stuff. Obviously not as powerful, but still trying to battle against it. So pretty much the day, as you guys have probably already seen the, the title of the video, uh, this is pretty much Oya versus GameStick. This will be me talking about the Oya, which you guys have probably already seen if you've watched the video. I may link it down in the description, the original video, to see kind of how my videos have altered. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the game stick, which I haven't got a video about, so unlucky. But what I'll do is I'll link both of the videos for the, both the Oya and the game stick in the description so you guys can go and see kind of what they look like, even though pictures are going to appear next to me over here where my hand is. So, but um, yeah, so pretty much what I'm going to do is if you see me looking down like this, it's just because I've got, I've got a tablet that I've got all my information on about the video, or about the video about the two consoles and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the console, talk about the other console and then do a bit of a comparison kind of thing to see what console is technically better. So what I'll do is I'll start off with the Oya. Uh, pictures as I said would appear next to me when my hand is appearing. So the Oya is pretty much a little box with a really weird looking controller. When I originally did this video, I'm sure I made this remark before, was that when the PS3 was being rumoured about uh, the controller for the PS3 looked like the big, big McDonald's M. This is what this looks like, and it's the official controller as well, with the pic which is in the picture next to me. So, um, pretty much what it is, is it's an Android-based games console, pretty much. And it's meant to be so that you guys can go and play game console, or go and play on a games console, which is cheap and cheerful, but not for the extortionate price of, say, an Xbox or a PS3. Granted, very ballsy move for them, because if you think about it, PS4 and the Xbox 720, PS4 is definitely coming out at the end of this year, but the Xbox 720 is a possibility. So releasing these new little mini consoles before then is quite a bold move, but I know people will still go and buy them. So pretty much what I'll do is I'll kind of read off what the stats are of this new kind of console what i'll do is i'll just kind of have the picture of it next to me i won't have the information appear until i do kind of the comparison thing between the two consoles so at first obviously everyone's going to wonder what it's packing pretty much it's, it's packing a nvidia tegra 3 quad core processor so for something diddy like that which is pretty much the same as um the raspberry pi computer which is like some build it yourself computer in something like that, it's going to give off some decent graphics for what it is. It's a mobile graphics card, kind of built for, like, say, an iPad or something like that. Um, it's then going to have a gig's worth of RAM, which is not bad, to be perfectly honest. In something as diddy as that, a gig's worth of RAM is not bad. Um, storage, which is what everyone's going to wonder, because there, it isn't big enough for discs. So that's the fact that it's going to have an 8 gig storage, more than likely built in, but will also have an expand slot for... You, a 2.0 expand slot, so pretty much you guys can expand it using, say, a hard drive or a USB stick, so that's quite good. Um, up to 1080p, obviously, depending on the games and if you're using a uh, HDMI cable. Um, but the good thing about it is that with, with this compared to the uh, game stick, is they've actually included that you can get 5.1 surround sound off it, so that's not bad. Uh, it also has Wi Fi, which is like standard Wi Fi for anything, but also have an Ethernet port, so they're not getting rid of like solid wired kind of connection they ain't going all futuristic on us um they got, they got a bluetooth it has compatibility with bluetooth because that's how the controller connects to the console and it also has a micro usb port doesn't explain what that you that's used for on the videos or the where i got this information but still obviously there's going to be a use for it 
Uh, so pretty much now I've gone to the game stick, which as you can see next to me, there's no console. However there is, it's a rather clever initiative kind of thing that they've done. They didn't want a console, they didn't want something physical that you had to connect controller to. So pretty much what they've done is that there's a little slot in the bottom of the controller and there's this USB drive which is pretty much the, the console, pretty much. So it's a console in a controller which I think is quite clever because it's the fact that they've completely downsized the OER pretty much. So yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go into the stats of this one pretty much. So we've got an Amlogic 8726MXS. I'm exactly the same as you guys. I don't have a clue what that is, so I googled it. And I googled it and it's the actual processor system. It's a dual core processor. So you've got two less cores than the OYA. Already I'm doing the comparisons. However, it's a lot smaller as you can see from the pictures next to me. Uh, one gig DDR RAM. DDR3, sorry, should I say, an 8 gig flash memory with a 32 gig micro SD expansion. So they're not doing what the OE is doing with the USB, so you can expand it and get like a terabyte hard drive. Uh, it's running Android Jelly Bean, so both are running Android, however, they've given Wadget what actual thing. They're not running like an ice cream sandwich or anything like that. Uh, yet again, Bluetooth for the controller. So that's pretty much the stats for both of the consoles, which I think are quite good for a console. Which is pretty much as big as your fist, or well, my fist anyway, I've got quite big fists. So yeah, so pretty much what we're going to do now is appearing next to me will be the stats of both. I might move over a little bit, there you go, I've got more room, room to play over here now with uh, Premiere Pro. But um, yeah, so pretty much going from both, you've got the NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad core processor for the OYA and the Amlogic 8726MXS. From personal opinion and personal view from what the stats I've read up about them, because there was a comparison thing that I saw on the internet, the NVIDIA Tegra 3 is definitely going to be the better, more powerful processor for it. So technically on this count, uh, the OYO has one up on the game stick. So then we've obviously we go down, both have got a gig RAM, so they're on par. Uh, we then go down to storage, yes, both have 8 gig, however... While the OER has an expandable slot via USB, the game sticks kind of stopped itself with the 32 gig micro SD. You never know. We don't know how big the games are going to be for both consoles. So 32 gig might be as much as you need. However, the OER has gone one step ahead and gone, okay, just in case we start getting better, we've got big, we've got we'll use a USB. We won't use an expansion slot. It's just easier. So technically, there. On initiative, OYA's gone one up again, so it's 2 0 technically to the OYA. Uh, we then go down a little bit more. The OYA's got 5.1 surround sound, and we don't even know what sound you get from the game stick. So, technically, there, from information being given across about their console, the OYA gets one, so that's technically 3 0 now. Uh, we then go down a little bit more. Um, I'm assuming the connectivity is also Wi Fi on the. Um, Game stick, sorry, but it's too small to have an internet cable. So technically, yet again, OEA has gone another one up because they've gone the initiative so that you can actually um, connect the internet if your if your internet isn't very good. So because obviously both systems, because they're running off of Android and aren't, think you're going to have to download your games. You're going to have to need internet for both of them. So bit sketchy, bit like on live, but ha we're not going there with on live. If you want to go and have a look at what on live is, go. It's just. Uh, but obviously both have got Bluetooth for their controllers. However, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into it a bit more now, not going off stats. So at the moment, it's technically 4-0 to the um, OYA. So what we're going to do is going to get rid of all of this information here, and we're now going to go into specific things for, from personal view. So obviously I'm going to get all the comments in the section. Oh, no, 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 we don't care what you think. Well, it's just my personal view. So pretty much what the first thing is, is kind of portability. The whole point of this game is to be this game console to be small. OEA kind of started it with the box. It's nowhere near as big as an Xbox, nowhere near. But the game stick has taken it one step further and made it a USB drive. So, in my personal opinion, on not on any of the stats, the game stick gets one up. So it's 4-1 now technically. We then go on to the next thing, which is the controller. I really don't look the lot I don't really like either of the controllers. However, the OYA's controller looks a lot easier to hold on to. So, off of that point of view, 
the OE is going to get it, so it's 5-1. This is where we go on, though, is because Game are now releasing, they've got all this information, they've also got their selling prices. So, for the OE, the console on one game, sorry, no games on it, sorry, console and one controller is £99, with an extra controller being £40. So that's not bad. So it's a cheap console, and it's the equivalent of buying an Xbox 360 controller. So then we go into the game stick, which one console and one controller is £80, because it comes as it is. But an extra controller is £35. So there, the game sticks won it because it's got only £80 to pay for console. So it's £20 cheaper than the OYA, but also the controllers are cheaper as well. They're £5 cheaper. So technically making it 5 2 to the game stick. So the game stick's not doing very well. However, neither of them in the videos or in their information mention battery life for the controllers because it's Bluetooth. So the controllers are going to be shit. They are going to be shit. However, the OYA mentions nothing about charging. Even though the Game Stick doesn't, it's now got an extra accessory on the game website called the Game Stick Dock, which only I can assume is the charging dock for the console and the controller. So in that thing, that gives the Game Stick one point. Because for me, I don't want to be using wires to charge it just because that's what I've been given. Obviously, that's what the Game Stick's probably done. There probably is a, there is probably a plug. However, they've given you a dock, so it's more initiative, so it's more handy for you, because then you can just pick it up and then put it back down, because it's all through uh, contactless. A bit like the contactless charging ports pads that people have been bringing out for the phones and stuff. So, from that, that makes it 5-3. Five, 5 points going to the OYA, and 3 points going to the Game Stick. So now, at the end, you're kind of thinking, okay, so the is technically better, but off of an overall kind of thing... Yes, I have to agree, because I normally go on advertisement as well. The game stick's kind of given nothing away. The information's very minimal, while Oya, they've given a video which was like um, like a year ago. I remember doing this video for the Oya a year ago, and the game stick have kind of just given nothing. It's just kind of appeared. So a personal preference for this time, I may even buy both consoles and see what they're like. But for now, the Oya wins, and the Oya is the better control, a better console versus the game stick. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. A little bit different. However, I don't mind doing different content on my channel. If people have suggestions for content, I really don't mind. But if you guys are enjoying it, I'd really appreciate a like on the video. Uh, if you like my content, I wouldn't mind to subscribe either. Because then that means that you guys are constantly up to date with all the information and all of the stuff that I do on my channel. So as I always say, my name is Risha Spoken. I hope you guys have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys later on the next video.